Over the weekend, we saw Liverpool and City go head-to-head -head in a very crucial match as far as the Premier League title race is concerned. These two teams are the biggest in England and are also two of the biggest in the world. Of course, they're packed full of stars, but that game seemed more like a battle between the managers than the players. And the managers? They go way back. But just before we get into that, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the One Football app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the One Football app. Uh, you're welcome. Now, like we said, Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola go way back. Between 2013 and 2015, the pair were coaching the two biggest teams in Germany, and that was where the rivalry started brewing. They played against each other nine times during that period, with Pep winning five times and Klopp winning on four occasions. Pep beat Klopp to the league in the two seasons they were together in Germany. He also came out on top when they met in the final of the 2014 DFB Pokal. However, Klopp was the reason Pep didn't win any DFL Super Cup during his time in Germany. They met in the final of that competition twice in 2013 and 2014, and Klopp won both times. These two have always taken things from each other. Anyway, in 2015, Klopp finally decided to leave Germany for a new challenge in England, and the following year, Pep decided to join him. Now, one thing you must keep in mind is that they didn't just walk into this rivalry you see now. They created it by themselves because of how very good they are. At the time Pep and Klopp joined City and Liverpool respectively, they were far from the biggest clubs in the land. But there was a yearning for a new rivalry, and these two men who just came from Germany were ready to take over. Sir Alex Ferguson had just retired some years earlier and that automatically spelled an end to his long-term rivalry with Arsene Wenger. Wenger himself left Arsenal some years after and that ended his own rivalry with Mourinho. So the Premier League was looking for some managerial rivalry and honestly, all eyes were on Mourinho and Guardiola to bring the drama. They already had a history going head-to-head -head against each other with the two biggest clubs in Spain and in the world at the time, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Now they were managing neighbouring rivals, Man United and Man City. And when Pep won his first league title with City, it seemed like the rivalry was going to be really Pep versus Mourinho once again, as Jose's Man United finished second to Pep City. On the other hand, Klopp's Liverpool finished fourth in the league that year. But in spite of that, our attention was drawn to the Champions League when Klopp's Liverpool comfortably ousted Man City in the quarter-final and made their way to the final. Klopp lost that final, but people started to awaken to the threat that he and his boys could pose in England and the whole of Europe. That season, however, turned out to be only a foreshadowing of what was to be perhaps the greatest show of a managerial rivalry in a single season in European football history. The following season, we saw Liverpool go all the way to the Champions League final yet again, finally winning it for the first time in 14 years. But over in the league, we saw Klopp and Pep fight for the league till the very last second. In a recent interview, Pep Guardiola said that Jurgen Klopp makes him a better manager, and we really did see it in the 2019 title race. Klopp and his men were breathing down his neck at the top of the table, and so to ensure his team won the league that season, Pep's team had to win 18 of their last 19 games, which involved a 14-game winning streak. It was an insane run. At the end of that season, only one point separated Klopp's and Pep's men, with Liverpool finishing second with 97 points and only one loss throughout the entire season. That run, right there, was deserving of a winner's medal. These two surely make each other better. And for sure, there's no manager in the world these two guys fear and respect more than each other. Klopp has beaten Pep more times than any other manager in history, and Pep, in turn, has beaten Klopp more than any other manager in history. These two have played 23 games against each other. Klopp has won 9 times, while Guardiola has won 8 times. The remaining 6, of course, have been draws. 
But when it comes to goals, Pep leads. His team have scored 43 goals against Klopp's teams, while Klopp's teams have scored 39 goals against Pep's teams. This rivalry is even greater because these two guys are at the very top of their games and have been for years. One of Liverpool or City has been in three of the last four Champions League finals. Also, as far as winning the Premier League title goes, it's been one or the other since 2018, and surely at the end of this season, yet again, it's going to be one of them. After the game, we saw that shake and embrace between the two, which was evident of nothing less than absolute respect. And then, just before Klopp's post-match interview, we saw these two guys shake and hug again while saying a few words to each other. And if we even want to throw it back a little, we have this really funny and beautiful moment from 2019, just a day after Klopp's Liverpool beat Pep's Man City. You can see just how much respect they have for each other. It doesn't matter whether they lose or win. As we say on the streets, real recognise real. And honestly, this type of rivalry is a breath of fresh air because we're used to managerial rivalries being much more heated and dramatic. If you don't remember how the relationship between Fergie and Wenger was, you should still remember how Wenger and Mourinho were with each other. Surely you haven't forgotten the infamous specialist in failure quip. Even the relationship between Mourinho versus Guardiola himself back at Real Madrid and Barcelona respectively wasn't pretty. Considering how Pep has grown to admire and respect his now biggest rival, guess it's actually true that Klopp makes him better. So, of course, Pep versus Klopp is the biggest managerial rivalry in the entire world of football right now. No debate about that, surely. But are we permitted to also call it the biggest rivalry between managers in the history of the sport? What do you think? If you think it is, let us know in the comments. If you think this isn't the greatest rivalry, tell us which you think is in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any subsequent videos. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.